Hi, this is Omar. And this is Damien from Top 5 E-Bikes. And in this video, we're gonna compare four belt drive e-bikes. The Roadster V2, the KBO Hurricane, the Roadster Gravel Edition, and the Utopia. And I just wanna remind you guys uh, to please subscribe to our channel, Top 5 E-Bikes. We've done a couple of other reviews on uh, belt drive e-bikes like the Hurricane, the Roadster, and the Utopia. So if you like this video or other e-bike content, please remember to subscribe to our channel, uh, watch, comment on this video, share this video, uh, and keep an eye out for, for future reviews, uh, especially on the uh, Ride One Up Roadster Gravel Edition. All right, let's talk about belt drives. We're gonna start off with the Roadster V2, which is one of the two bikes that we have here with us. Damien, you're an expert with this bike and you've ridden it a ton. So I think you're the best person to talk about this e-bike. Yeah, I feel like this bike was uh, was designed specifically for, for someone like me. So uh, yeah. if for people that have been watching uh, our earlier videos, this is actually, the Roadster Review is one of our first reviews. We've had this bike for over a year now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've logged over 500 miles on it. So obviously we love this bike. We've kept it for this long. And I'm just gonna tell you a couple of things that make this um, you know, such a cool bike and, and compared to the other bikes, right? Um, well, of all, of all the four bikes, this is actually a class three e-bike, right? This one will go up to 24 miles per hour, which is actually the fastest of all the, the other bikes here that we're gonna talk about. Um, that's because it has a 350 watt, uh, 500 peak watt motor, right? So that's the biggest motor of all of these bikes that we're talking about. Um, but it also has the smallest battery, right? So it doesn't have the same battery life of even the Hurricane. Um, and, and, and that's probably has to do with, with the weight, right? This is actually the lightest of the e-bikes. I think this one is 33 right. pounds. Um, so that goes into it. If you want a bike that has a little bit more battery life, um, that might be a deal breaker for you. Although and, you could always buy, they have the second battery that you could buy now, but then, you know, you yeah. added weight. But, right, yeah, it's not true apples to apples comparison, right. right, if you're adding another battery. But yeah, you could definitely add another battery. Um, the other drawback, one of the only drawbacks I see is the brakes, right? The other bikes have mechanical disc brakes, that one. Hydraulic, but yeah. Yeah, but I will say with a bike this light, you don't really need mechanical disc brakes. No. These brakes work fine. Uh, like I said, 500 miles and counting on this bike. In fact, I thought that the brakes on this bike were better than on one of the other bikes we're going to talk about, which is a KBO Hurricane. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I totally agree. So again, this is a really great bike, um, super affordable at under $1,100. Um, and yeah, I, I think, I think we, could, we could easily put another 500 miles on this and, and we will just because it's going to be hard for me to part with this bike. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of bikes that we've parted with, one of them, the next one is the KBO Hurricane, and this is not the KBO Hurricane, but it's um, a bike that we rode, I rode for quite a bit. I rode it too. We, we, yeah. did, uh, we did a comparison video actually on Yeah, on we did. Bike. We talked about both of these bikes um, going head to head. Um, that bike, we actually got rid of a few months ago. We, we have so many bikes that we just have to make room. Actually, that says a lot about the ride one up, actually, if I go back, the fact that we haven't gotten rid of it, yeah. that, we hit, that we still have it because we have so many bikes that we have and that we ride, but when it comes to the KBO Hurricane, I think for me, the look of it, that stealth look and the frame yeah, it was cool. were really cool. cool. That's cool what, bike. yeah, it's really one of the things that really attracted me to it. Also it has uh, mechanical brakes. Um, it has a biggest, it has a bigger battery than the two Roadsters yeah. for sure. Not a bigger yeah. battery than the Utopia, but um, it has a bigger battery than the Roadster. So the range is a little bit higher than the Roadster. Um, and I think, yeah, again, just the look of it. Also, I think for me, the other thing was, and just reviewing my notes on that e-bike, was the sizing. For me, the sizing on the Hurricane was better than even the Roadster Medium. Yeah. I felt like the Roadster Medium was a little bit too big for me, but um, those were the things that, um, you know, that I recall from riding that e-bike. The other thing is, there's a couple more items, and I think these are more of, I think, negatives for the KBO Hurricane is that one is that it's not in stock right now, so you couldn't buy it. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I don't <drawback>. know. <laughs> yeah, big one. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be in stock. I think they are gonna make that bike again, KBO. But at least at the moment when we're filming this, it's not in stock. The other thing is that KBO doesn't have as good service as a company like Ride One Up. Yeah. So that's another Just I in think. our experience with Ride One Up, just yeah. from what we've researched from reading the message boards, yeah. 
the the service of Rye One Up is is definitely they just have a more robust service and they're starting to invest more in in servicing and now they have a store in San Diego, so then KBO is a smaller company. So I think those would be um, you know those are things that I would note about the KBO Hurricane. All right, so now that we talked about the Roadster and the KBO Hurricane. Now let's talk about the newest version of the Roadster, which is the Roadster Gravel Edition. And again, you're the expert, so I think that you should talk about the Gravel Edition. Yeah, I'll take the floor. Edition. Thank you. Yeah, I'll <laughs> take the floor. Uh, so this is actually the only bike we haven't personally ridden. And the reason we haven't ridden it is just because of the excitement and enthusiasm about this e-bike, right? The, the Roadster Gravel Edition, it hasn't been in, they've had trouble keeping it in stock. And we've actually talked to Ride One Up to try to get one and We've had trouble getting one of those bikes over but we'll get one trust me very soon so stay tuned <laughs> we'll we'll have a real review on the roadster gravel edition pretty soon i'm super pumped about that bike um basically it's it's very similar it's a it's 200 dollars more expense, expensive than the roadster v2 it's got upgraded tires that are 700 by 42 centimeters so you know you're going to be able to ride it on rougher terrain right gravel um uh, although it's not obviously a trail bike. It's just something where I've, I've personally uh, had a couple flats with this bike already, right? Just normal, right? When you have thin tires, this has the, thinner, the thinnest tires of any of the bikes. It's like riding a road bike, I think. Yeah, exactly. Some of these, yeah. So I'm guessing with uh, the Gravel Edition, you'll have just a little bit more versatility with how you're riding. Everything else is pretty much the, frame, the, the, the same, right? Um, the battery, the motor, still 40 newton meter motor still 350 500 peak watt motor um, it does have upgraded brakes so it's got mechanical disc brakes with 160 millimeter uh, rotors yeah um, i feel like that was an upgrade from ride one up from just listening to the feedback yeah because everyone spoke about even though they're great brakes and i think they're yeah. good enough but everyone would mentioned that oh it doesn't have mechanical brakes and good on them for, yeah. for responding to that feedback and, and upgrading the brakes uh, the brakes because i feel like that's something you have to do the other upgrade is a lower geared drivetrain and a gates carbon belt drive so this one doesn't have a gates carbon belt drive it's a big deal too yeah that that's top awesome. of the line absolutely so i mean again it's only 200 dollars more than this bike as we've already talked about, this is the Roadster V2 is an awesome bike. So I would personally be willing to pay a little bit more, right? Yeah. To have that upgraded belt drive and drivetrain and brakes. Okay, so now we've covered three e-bikes that are kind of in the same price range under around $1,100. And now we're gonna talk about a, a bike that's kind of from the future and is a <laughs> different class altogether. Still also a belt drive bike though. Yeah, so what we have here is a Utopia. This is the one of the latest bikes that we reviewed. Um, and this e-bike is, like you were saying, it costs a little bit more. These other e-bikes are around uh, $1,000. It's twice over twice as much right yeah this one is 27.99 okay yeah. so it's more than double right. the price of most of these but e there's a deal right now right there is a deal at the time we're filming i'm not sure by the time you see this video if it's going to be if you're going to have this deal but um why is it so much because first of all it's made out of carbon so it's carbon fiber the entire the yeah. frame the seat post the fork yeah. everyone gets carbon this is all carbon except for the wheels um, and that's part of the reason why it weighs 30 pounds it also has a gates belt drive which again we were saying this with the gravel edition that's top of the top line. of the line it, it's rated for 18,000 miles so it should last a really long time um, you have hydraulic brakes so this is the only e-bike out of these four that has hy hydraulic brakes which it should at that price range right um, and I think those and and I should say a couple things just about the motor it's got the smallest motor out of these four it's 250 watts yeah it has 35 newton meters of torque so it actually has the least amount of torque definitely geared to be more of a city bike this right. is not something you would want to be riding up a huge hill and the um, top speed is only 20 right 20 miles per hour so that's the other thing when we were riding here I mean, you were you were riding slow next to me, right? Like I was keeping yeah, you yeah. behind. You know, we were, I was slowing you down for sure. But some of the positives of this e-bike, one of the coolest things about this e-bike is they call this a smart e-bike because it has what's the smart hub, and you can't really see it here, but in our review, we kind of focus in on this, but it's kind of the hub of this e-bike. 
and it has a bunch of really cool features like it has fingerprint technology where you can turn on the bike with your fingerprint yeah it, it has voice commands um, it has an app that's integrated with it where you can see a bunch of stats also over there upgrades so or updates so the company will be able to send updates so you could potentially in the future get additional upgrades yeah. to this bike i love the integrated light the headlight is really yeah cool. i think they did a really good job design wise and it's just a different looking bike it's not your traditional bike frame and then in addition to that just the way they integrate everything they did a really nice job i just design wise so um, again very different than these other e-bikes just because it costs more the price is more yeah. than double but you get a ton of features so a lot of gadgets you know a lot of features electronic features yeah. and yeah just really just, cool just design the, the design you could tell a lot went into the r d to create that bike right probably safe to say more than oh yeah went yeah into some of these other bikes we're talking about yeah and this brand the entire focus of this brand now if, if, at the moment is the c bike so yeah. all their time and energy was spent on the c bike yeah cool bike man very cool bike maybe you should let me ride it <laughs> <laughs> all, all right. right so uh we've talked about the four bikes um now it's time to give us uh, our final thoughts so let me just start out by saying all four of these are really great bikes. I feel like three of them are kind of similar, obviously, right? Similar in price and maybe it appeal to the same type of person. Um, and just in general, the type of person that's gonna get a belt drive e-bike is, is someone that's gonna want like a lighter, more sleek city commuter style bike. Um, and of course, the, with the belt drive, it, it's just lower maintenance, right? You don't have a, a greasy chain that's gonna you're gonna have to mess around with too much or it's gonna get your pants dirty. So for instance, with the, with the KBO Hurricane, um, it's got a little bit of a bigger battery. It's got that stealthy feel and, and design, which might appeal to a lot of people. Um, the Roadster V2, um, I feel like the handling of this bike is amazing and I, it's just really fun to ride. It's just very efficient. Uh, it's a cool looking bike and um, it, it is the most powerful of all the bikes um, that we're talking about here. So um, same thing with the, the gravel edition of the Roadster. I mean, if you just want a little bit more versatility, bigger tires, upgraded brakes, um, you know, the bike has kind of those cool like white wall looking tires, um, which are a little, maybe a little cooler than these, but yeah, I mean, also really cool, really, really cool e-bike. And I feel like the Utopia this is the type of e-bike that would appeal to someone that obviously you're looking for a belt drive e-bike, it's light, you want a city bike, no throttle. Yeah. But in addition to that, you want a little bit more features. Hydraulic brakes, the gates, um, belt drive, and then all the gadgets. So I think this would appeal to someone who's into newer tech. More tech stuff. And gadgets. Yeah. More wow factor. Exactly, exactly. And then just the look of it. So I think that's um, who this, this e-bike is for. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you guys watching, just like we appreciate you guys watching all our videos. We hope that you found uh, this comparison of the four bikes uh, useful. Let us know if you have any questions or comments. Also subscribe to Top 5 e-bikes if you're into e-bikes or amazing backgrounds. Yeah, if you like, like the this ocean. one. <laughs> <laughs> if you like the beach. Yeah, but let us know if you have any questions or comments and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. Visit us at top5ebikes.com or some of our social media accounts. Thank you.